Welcome back to What's Inside Family, and today you're going to see a video that um, has been long awaited, and a lot of you guys have asked me in the comments, are you ever going to review the Model Y? Are you going to buy the Model Y? Would you get a Model Y over a Model X, or would you get the Model Y over the Model 3? We have the Model S, we have the Model 3, we have the Model X, and the Y, which is the new one, and the Roadster. So Elon decided to be clever, and it spells sexy. All of them are white, except for my uh, blue Roadster. It looks super out of place, which kind of makes sense because it's kind of like the misfit of the entire Tesla lineup. Most people don't even consider this as being a Tesla right now, which is kind of funny because without that car on the end, which was kind of a failure in the way they designed it, um, Tesla wouldn't even be around right now, and all these other cars would not exist. Today we're going to get the family inside of this Model Y. We obviously own a Model X right now and we're super comfortable with it. The Model Y is almost like the Model X's like little brother. One of the issues that we have with our family, we started with the Model S and it got a little tricky at times. Like we didn't quite have enough room for all of us to be in there as the kids grew up. I mean, technically, yes, there's room. I know it's like first world problems. But when you're on a long road trip, um, as a parent, it's super annoying when the kids are like, they're in my space, they pushed me, they grabbed my blanket. And that happens all the time. And so the Model X has been such a great car for our family. We've actually owned two of them over the last few years. Sold one of them recently, but the Model X is really nice because it does have the two seats in the middle and then it has the two seats in the back. And so for our three kids, they can split up. They're not touching each other. Whenever we have one of their friends over, we can throw another one of their friends in the back. We have six of us in there and you can even go to seven seats. The Model Y, it's similar in size when you look at how high they are on the top. I think it's only like an inch or two difference as far as how high it is, and it has more cargo room inside. So it's built off of the same platform as the Model 3, it's just they added some more room inside of there. At some point they're going to have a third row in the back. Um, that is not an option that's even out yet. So anyway, let's do a full review. I just keep looking at these cars behind me and thinking it is so cool that we have every single Tesla behind us. This is going to be the ultimate summon test. In this corner, we have the Tesla Model Y. In this corner is the Tesla Model X. It's a 2017 100D. We have the Roadster that does not have summon. It's just gonna sit there and look pretty, hopefully. The Model 3 Performance right over there. This is one of the first ones that were out originally. And then we have a Tesla Model S P100D. We are just gonna sit here like nerdy Tesla owners and push the button that says, come to me car, which you can do this in parking lots with lots of cars. Um, from my experience, I wouldn't use this in a parking lot unless it was like pouring rain and it wasn't that busy and you really needed to get the car to you or you're in this parking lot with nobody and you wanna do this super nerdy test. So here we go, nerdy test. Um, let me pull up my summon mode. Push this button, which makes it come to you. Oh, smart summon is not currently ready. <laughs> so we still are having problems with the Model 3. It, apparently it needs to warm up to do uh, summon sense. mode. This is a good test here. It's supposed to go to the target and for some reason it wants to drive over those trees. Yours, the Model Y, also wants to drive around that. Mine doesn't say anything. Mine doesn't have a line. Mine doesn't have a line. Is everybody ready? Ready. I think so. All right, three, two, one, go. Preparing to summon, my car says. Uh oh. Come on. Slow down Come for on, Oh, mine's going backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Mine ran into the curb. Come on, Model S. Oh, mine's going backwards. <laughs> I'm pushing it again. Oh, where's the Model Y going? It's going around that. Don't let it crash, boys. Here you go. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, what? The oh, 3 is man. the fastest. The S is almost here. Oh, no. Mine ran into the curb, and now it's totally stopped. <laughs> and the Y is still over there. All right, why? Oh, it's really working. Look at the steering wheel. Oh, it stopped. It stopped right there. Oh, it is? Is that what it says? Okay. Waiting for path to clear. Okay, it's coming. I'm still trying mine. Yeah, that's pretty slick, though. It didn't crash into the trees over there. Three is the winner. The S is in second place. The Y is in third. Tesla Model X is the worst Tesla in the history. No. So we're back home, we have our Model X here, we have the beautiful Roadster, and then the very practical Honda Accord. And then we have Lincoln here. Hi. Walking backwards. I know, I really wanna go see the car. You wanna see the Model Y? Yeah, I do. Why do you wanna see it so much? It, um, I've what? never seen one before. Why? And I, why? I mean, I've seen one in videos, but I've never really actually seen one. Why? Like, why? Why? It's cause they ha they're not really released yet. I mean, they are releasing why? them now. 
Okay, stop it. I'm <laughs> just it's, saying it's, why. This is Lincoln's first wow, chance to see the it, Y. I'm shocked of how much it looks like a Model X. It's just a little bit shorter. It does look like. like a Model X. Yeah. By the way, this is Justin. This is his car. He's the one that brought it all the way up from Arizona. Thank you for bringing it up. Yes, that was really nice of you. Whoa, wow. Go ahead, have a seat. Yep. Take it for a spin. <laughs> nope. Isn't it interesting with the one screen? Yeah, what is this? What is that? What? Wireless charging. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? That's Wireless. what that is. Oh, that's cool. See ya, buddy. It looks just like the X. The handles are different than the X. You do that little thing, it's kind of like the Model 3. All right, in the back of the car, there's tons of storage in here. You have this with fancy Louis Vuitton. It comes with Louis Vuitton backpacks. <laughs> How's that one it's open? It's kind of harder to open, so I always open this first and then fold that open. Oh, so. okay. And then how do the seats go down? <laughs> Maybe. Oh. But yeah, I, 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 I've had some issues there, with them. They're there not we go. perfect. Okay, so the seats, do they come back up this way or do you need to nope. physically do it? Gotta physically do it. Okay. That's a lot of room back there though. Everybody That's something I can't do in my X. I can't like lay down in it and camp it's out. 70 inches. So Justin, when you took delivery of it, was there anything with it that you didn't like? Yeah, there was some fit and finish and some paint issues. They're not crazy, they're not terrible, but Tesla's gonna fix them and make it right, so. That's good. I'm pretty happy with it. But the real question is, for me, how does it drive? What does it feel like? And so, let's take it on a drive. Russell, you're that's driving. Similar. Oh, you're right driving. now I'm driving? Yep. Okay. Do you know how to open it? You don't push it. What do you do? <laughs> you look at you guys. I don't know what to do. I, like, push it harder? No. Oh! <laughs> That's funny. You push that and then you grab it and pull it. Oh, and it. then pull it. It makes you work. It does. It does. <laughs> you guys are all pushing on it. I love that. <laughs> oh, it's nice. So nice and clean. I, I like how clean it is. Oh! Oh! What right. on earth? First impressions? You've never been in a it's, Model 3. I've never been in a Model 3 either, so it's super sleek. It, there's nothing, like it feels like there's nothing here and there's supposed to be stuff here. Like. <laughs> Alright, let me hop in. Okay, we're taking your car. Sure. We'll be careful with it. I'll be here. One really big deal to me is when I push the gas pedal, the door shuts. Yeah. Why is that not happening? The Model X is the only car, the only Tesla, that has the automatic doors that open and close for you. Yeah. And they're the only ones, I mean that's part of the automatic doors, but like you put your foot on the brake and the door on the X just shuts for you nicely. This it's does not do that. It's one of the best features. It sounds kind of ridiculous, it but it so is one of the best. so that I feel like this is an effort, but it kind of is an effort. Oh wow, the, the chargers way. back here are like the ones for the computers, but you plug them in. See? USB-C? USB oh, they're USB-C chargers. Yeah, the That's back. interesting. Oh, you guys are so scratched. <laughs> I'm not that bad. Okay, well, let's go on a little drive. Okay, I'm kind of nervous that he's watching me. Goodbye. Goodbye, we'll be okay. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, oh no, what's going on? Justin's a super nice guy. Yeah, it's so nice of him to bring it this. All right, where are we going? Oh, look, it says that it's driving. Just drive straight. Look, okay. I, I like how it has color. The actual car, when it like, this car? senses. Yeah, how like it senses people and stuff. Oh yeah, the car. So this image of it is so nice. Yeah. It's so smooth. It's really smooth. So there's a bunch of space under the seat. So you're totally comfortable, Link? Like versus the X. Um, I like the X more, I think, but this is really cozy, yeah, it's really nice. This is a wireless charging for your phone if you what? set it on there. No. Let's see if it works, the oh. case. Through your gigantic case. <gasps> oh, oh look at that. That's cool. Totally charging. Look at this, stoplights, and it shows it just turned green. Like, it right, that, it recognizes yeah. this. Oh, oh, so you didn't cool. even have to look at that. So I can just stare at my oh, computer screen? Wow. You can just watch the computer screen and drive. And now you can't. But, and then when you went through the intersection. Ooh, it's fast too. That it feels good. It drives really, really nicely. Doesn't yeah. it? It's yeah, smooth. it's really nice. Our, our Model X, when we drive it, it's really weird, but I feel like, I feel like it gets the shocks. It makes weird noises when you step on it. Like it's not ready for it. I don't know what it, I don't know. It just There's doesn't feel off. tight and compact. The Model X has like an air suspension. This is just some coil shocks, but they actually I think feel pretty darn nice. Yeah, they feel nice. Keating. Where is the air coming out of? It's just, is it, oh, it's coming out of this big long yeah, thing. Yeah, that, so it has this big long thing on there. That's brilliant. And what's crazy is everything's on the touch screen. So like, I can adjust it, look at this. Adjust the flow, Excellent. the direction that you want it to go. Oh, that actually is incredibly cool. Air. 
there an air vent back there? Oh, there's a right here in the middle. That's similar to the X. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, Don't stop sign. Sees the stop sign. Oh. Yeah, it sees the cones over there. It can see the cones. London, how do you feel in the middle? Crunch. Okay, so here's the question. This car, this exact one right here, brand new, costs $62,000. It's a really good deal. It's a good deal. Compared to the X. The X brand new, the one that we have, is probably like 105, 110. Something like though well, right now it's probably in like ninety five, a hundred, yeah. probably a hundred for it. So you're looking at like a thirty five thousand dollar difference. I think that's worth it. I honestly feel like the brand new price for the Model X is just too much money for what you're getting. A used Model X right now, I think that could compete and compare to a Model Y, and that's a decision to make. This one on a road trip has a pretty good amount of range. It has like three hundred twenty miles. Ours right now is like two eighty. It's not great right now. And then also it has version three supercharging. We did it, guys. We did it. I, I really nice. do like it's the sunroof. Nice. Though. Lincoln, I didn't really ask you. Yeah. Thoughts of the car? Um, I think that it's great. Um, it does have more miles, which I really like, and I really like the doors. Should you buy a Model Y or should you buy a Model X? The real question is, do you actually need a new car right now? Like, do you need one? And if you don't, if the answer is no, if your current car is working fine, even if it's a gas car, it's probably better with the economy and everything. Just hold off don't need to go buy a Tesla. If you need a new car and you want to go electric, the price range of this and everything that you get is fantastic. If you have less than five people in your family, the Y is the best car for your money. I wouldn't even bother with the Model 3. If you live in a cold weather place, it has the heat pump it, that helps with the battery to keep your battery from having phantom drain. This is the best Tesla for your money right now. That's what I'm saying. Do I still like the X more? For my family, yes I do, but I definitely see that the Y has things that are definitely better. Thank you for being in uh, the review and giving your thoughts. This is our outing for the entire day, so. For our entire week. <laughs> for our entire we week. We don't leave the house very often. Thanks for the car, drive safe, and uh, enjoy the Model Y. Thank you, I will. Well, my car does not work. Sexy, well, there's a three in there that's not really an E, but it looks kind of like a, a E or whatever. So anyway, um, this is it. Oh, and by the way, if you have a Model 3 or a Model Y, you can get our 22 ounce water bottle and it fits perfectly inside of there. Look at that. Why wouldn't you get that? <laughs>